All right, we've got a different little project here today. We're going to make something that's called a master board. So what I did was take some real heavy duty watercolor paper and I wanted it to be the same size as the rice paper that I purchased. So the um, actual um, measurements like I have written here is 15 by 11. You can make your master board any size you want. And I ended up making two and I absolutely love how they turned out. So what I did was um, I purchased some rice paper and my thought was I'm going to make a master board and I'm going to make my own rice paper designs out of the um, master board when it's finished. You'll see what I mean after we get going here. But here are the pieces that I pulled out of my stash. I had just some paper scraps and I cut them to size. Here's a um, copy of something I got out of a book page, something that I had in just my paper scraps. I have some music sheets. I have some regular book pages. I have some old ephemera that I got at a rummage sale. It's really heavy duty cardstock, but they're old advertisements from a grocery store. So I wanted to kind of incorporate those. You'll see as we get going, it's just a bunch of stuff and things that I really, really liked. Here's some papers down on the right there that are from an old calendar that I had, but it had really, really great sentiments on the calendar. These are some envelopes that I had in my stash, and I'm going to use those too. I think they're really neat. These little embellishments I cut out of some pattern paper, and I thought maybe the time, the clocks, the things like that would look really neat with this board. So the hard part is deciding on what fun things you're going to actually use. And that took me a little bit of time to figure that out. But the end result, I believe, turned out absolutely amazing. And here are some stickers and just some things, more stuff, stamps, stickers, stencils, oh, just all kinds of things I pulled out. This was a fun, fun project. And I will link to um, the actual video that I watched for the inspiration to get me going on this. I never even knew what a master board was. So here I'm gonna get some glue together. I have some glue sticks and we're going to pull out some archival ink. I have the brown to go around the edges of all of the pieces and we will be using some black archival ink for some stamping and some stenciling towards the end. So here's my 11 by 15 piece of real heavy duty watercolor paper. And this is what I'm gonna use as the base. I'm going to place my ephemera and my paper around on the watercolor paper and make a collage with all of these great elements. And I'm going to stick them down with my glue sticks. This, like I said, takes some thinking. And once you do it, you get more used to it and it just kind of keeps going. So I'm gonna let you just follow along while I um, do some planning here and let you just enjoy this without me talking to you. So I'll be back.
Okay, now you can see that I'm just placing some smaller elements on top to give it some depth and dimension. I'm always going around the pieces with my potting soil archival ink and then I'm sticking everything down with my glue sticks. Isn't it turning out just fantastic? I really, really like it. And for being my first attempt at it, I think that it is really, really quite fun. I wouldn't mind to do a few more of these and I really think it would be awesome for an art journal page background. What do you think about that? Never know, maybe I'll have to do one. All right, so getting it all put down, sealed up perfect, adding in my little details and not trying to get too carried away. You, you just have to know when to stop. And I really wasn't sure when that uh, time was. But like I said, I did like how they turned out. So um, you'll have to let me know what you think in your um, in the comments below. Here's a little butterfly that I had in my um, stash of different stuff, giving it some of that brown again, putting it down with my glue stick, and as it goes on and on. But don't you love how it turns out? I'm really liking it. I sped it up a little bit here for you so that we could get to the end because I'm betting you're wondering what am I going to do with this master board that I'm making. I was really kind of concerned about it also. So you will see in the end I turned it into a really great project. Here I was having so much fun. I did a little bit of stamping and I added just a few more pieces. And then, of course, I'm going to start another one. So I have two master boards that I did. I just couldn't stop. And once you start digging out your stuff, you're thinking of all these different things that you have. And wow, it's really fun. This stamp is nice. I, I really like this stamp. So I, I was just going ahead, going to town, and creating all kinds of great things. going to use my stamp mat there so I get a good impression and putting down something to make sure I don't stamp on my stamp mat there. This just has some postage stamps on it and I thought it would just be perfect. Isn't it great? All right, I'm gonna set this one aside and I'm gonna create my second one. And I will speed this up so that, like I said, we're not taking all day, but I love how this turned out. Now here, I thought I would just put my elements down on this, um, front piece of my rice paper because I have to take off everything to glue it all down so I was really thinking here by placing it there I just needed the size of the 11 by 15 put all the elements down and then I may even have taken a picture so that I knew where everything was located and there's a piece of that um, calendar that I saved because they have such good sentiments on it. Um, that one that I have down on the piece says, beginnings are the hardest part. And, and that's really true, especially when you're trying to learn a different craft or a different, um, uh, different project, something like that. Don't be afraid, just start, just begin. And it'll all work out in the end. So we're going to put all these elements down and go ahead and make a uh, number two master board.
Alright, so I'll have this all sped up for you and then I will show you the two master boards and then I go over everything with a um, map medium. I yeah, here I, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to do some stenciling, and I'm going to use um, one of Sean Petit's stencils here, one of my very favorites, and it is called Postage, and I thought that was very appropriate, since we're kind of going with the vintage feel, we've got some stamps on there, we've got uh, lots of different elements, and I thought this one would work very nicely on this project. I'm using my black, jet black archival ink and my makeup brush that I like to use for stenciling. Yeah, isn't it cool? I really, really like it. That stenciling adds a lot to the project, I think. All right, so what are we gonna do next here? Here's both of the boards. I love how they turned out. Um, I'm going to use my matte medium and give everything a good coat here and get everything stuck down real, real good because some of those edges, you know, we're coming up a little bit, so we want it to be all um, nice and adhered down to the papers. Then we're going to give it a dry, and then I was thinking I wanted it to look a little bit more vintage. So, you know what I did? Just like I do with my mixed media projects, I got out my burnt umber acrylic paint, mixed it with some water, and gave the projects a nice wash of that burnt umber and water. Very cool. There, everything is sealed. We'll give it a dry and we'll come back and we'll do our um, burnt umber acrylic paint with water. Yeah, this is going to be the ticket. This is going to be great to give it all of that uh, dark vintage stain over the top. Now, usually I would have done this um, before the matte medium, but it it didn't come to me until afterwards so it still worked out and um, it gave it the darkness that I wanted for the master board I thought maybe I'd spray it with water, but I really liked it, how dark it was right here. So I have both of the master boards done now, and we're going to put them to use by um, showing you what I did with them. I'm going to do a postcard challenge, and you'll see what I got here in a minute. Okay, here are my master boards, and I absolutely love how they turned out. Now, if you're anything like me, you're thinking, okay, now what do you do with them? I wanted to make it into rice paper for mixed media projects and different designs. So my thought was to get some rice paper, which I purchased. And this is what it looks like. 
and my thought was I was going to take it to the printer and he would um, go ahead and run these through his copy machine, print it right on the rice paper. So I took some big paper, heavy duty cardstock, and I put my rice paper on with this washi tape, thinking that he could just put this on his copy machine, run it through, and it would be awesome. Well, he wouldn't do it because he said that this washi tape is going to come off and it's going to get stuck in his printer. I can see how that may happen, um, but I didn't agree with him 100%. So I just had him go ahead and print a couple of them on regular heavy duty cardstock. You can see that the color got a little bit yellow I'm thinking that he may um, not have really wanted to work on this project with me and that's fine I know they're busy I will use this in some other project I am still gonna go to a different printer tomorrow and see if they will do it for me we'll see what happens so I'm gonna set these aside take it to a different printer tomorrow and see if they will do it in the meantime I did take a piece of regular um, copy paper and I took my washi tape, I'm trying to put my hands on it, here it is, and I took a piece of that rice paper and cut it so it would fit. Whoopsies. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to bump my camera. Better? Okay. Um, so I cut it to fit. Turned it this way. Come back here. And I cut it to fit just like we would do um, a tissue paper project, but instead we're using rice paper which is actually a little bit easier because you can see this is a little more heavy duty. So I took some washi tape and I put some on this edge, which is the edge that it goes through my printer. And I just put some on the back edge just so it wouldn't come off. I'm going to put this through my printer and put my master board underneath so it copies and it'll copy on here and I'll show you what I came up with. Well I came up with this. So it is rice paper, it is my images which is fine, but to me this is a little dark. So I tried it again today and I lightened it and oh yes, 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 yes. It's still a little wet. You have to be careful because the ink gets on there, but much better by being um, uh, less dark. I just um, took the brightness and put it down to number two. And so I'm gonna do this a couple of times and what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to work on a project that I signed up for and I'll leave the details below. Um, we are making our own postcards and I thought what a great background these would make and how super easy and so I'm going to go that route. Um, I just cut out cereal boxes um, Here's a oatmeal box, uh, shake and bake. Doesn't matter what it is, but I wanted it to be a little bit heavier um, cardstock. So I'm going to cut some of these, and these are four by six. I need 10 for the project. We're going to send 10 postcards into, um, 
a postcard challenge and like I said I can leave the information below in the description and then you're going to get 10 postcards back in the mail so it would be really cool to see where they come from um, it costs ten dollars to do the little challenge and that was fine I'm just doing a few of these ten dollar challenges um, just to get out of a little creative rut here and it's working um, I'm finding different things to do and you know just uh, keep on making those videos for you so I will link to the um, master board video that I watched to get these ideas and how I came up with my master board creation and now we're going to put it into these postcards so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, copy off some more of the rice paper and I'm going to make it to size and then I'm going to put a little spray adhesive down and we're going to go ahead and adhere those and this is going to be the front of my uh, postcard. Wouldn't that be cool? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will catch you up in just a few moments. But I'm going to go and print some more of these um, tissue papers, or excuse me, rice papers off on my computer here. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I thought I would show you how I'm going to put on the spray adhesive. So here's my piece of rice paper and it's dry. And this is one of the lighter ones. I like the lighter ones much, much better. The spray adhesive that I had is this Loctite General Performance Lightweight Bonding. It's just something I had in my stash. So I made sure I gave the nozzle here a good clean and then I always have this box here it's just a spray box for if I'm going to be spraying in the house I think I'm going to I'm going to put it on this side so you can't see the packaging through give it a spray it feels like not much is coming out but it's enough to get the job done because I am going to go over this with matte medium and every time I spray I'm wiping the nozzle with a baby wipe there and I want this great big butterfly right in that center of that postcard so I'm setting it down giving it a rub and then I'm going to cut my edges and you could rip your edges too because like I said this is rice paper I'm going to save my scraps of course you wouldn't have to but I know that this scrap I will use for something in the future you know me <laughs> I gotta save all my scraps so then I'm just going around the edge I'm going to put white paper on the back so that I have more of a postcard um, looking thing here and I think that is a great postcard. I will go around the edge and I will go over the top with my matte medium just to give it a real good seal and a soft brush. So first I'll go around the edge with my brown and I'm going to use my, my, my archival ink and potting soil because when I use the wet matte medium it won't smear or smudge over the edge. So I'm going to get all my postcards together and we will come right back and I'll show you what I got after that. Okay? Alright. Hello, hello. I'm back and here's how they look. Now everything is dry. So now, and then this is how I did the back. It says true story. You can put your address and everything here. And then here is a stamp that I had that has a whole bunch of different postage on it. So I thought that turned out really super cute. 
Um, the stamp is something I got at a used craft sale, so I have no idea where I got that. And this one looks like this. Um, it was the first time I've ever used this, and I've had this in my stash for a long time. Probably a couple years. So, um, that's super neat. It's exciting that I got to use these two items. That makes me really happy. I'll do just a real quick flip through. This is how they're looking. This one here says, beginning is the hardest part. And it has some postage on there, a little bee and a butterfly. This one has butterflies. I wish I would have made it go, um more portrait than landscape on this one but I wasn't thinking on the back there here's part of the Eiffel Tower this one's great with that great um, butterfly there it even has a portion that says postcard this has got some numbers this one has even a little stamp on there and again these are all coming from the rice paper that I made with my um, master boards so here's another part that has a little bit of nail on there. I hope you enjoyed this. This is really super fun. I'm going to do some more. I definitely am going to, excuse me, do some more. Um, right now I'm going to use some of these stamp sets that I have and just add a little bit of stamping. You know me, I love my dragonflies, so I think that's probably the route that I will go. Um, a couple of these stamps. This one will be too big. This one's too big, more of a background. So I'm going to use maybe a little bit of this or this other one. Um, I will stamp these. I will let them dry, and I will put them in the... Um, I'll put pictures of them in the final pictures of the products, finished products. Okay, so I hope you liked. Um, I really liked. Like I said, I'm going to um, definitely make some more. This one needs to have a little bit of this cut off here. And I think it will be great for the uh, post image. I will put all the information below, but here is where you need to send it, Mark Montana, 2126 Cove Avenue, Los Angeles, California, 90039. I'll put the link up, and then you put a envelope inside your envelope with your postcards, and then you'll get 10 postcards back from 10 different people. I'm actually going to um, clip my business card to the back here also and maybe I'll get a few people to subscribe or something like that or maybe watch some of my videos. Who knows? You never know, right? Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed and we will see you again next week, possibly on Saturday for a finishing those background uh, pages. I will do my best to get that done. But thank you for watching. We'll talk to you next time. Thank you.